Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, everybody. Today, what I'm going to show you guys is how to change lights on this map, how to change lights properly on this map, and how to adjust the settings so your lights aren't messed up. So, if you want to know how to change and make your own lights, today is the day so you can stop relying on people like Convict, who messes up the configs, or Wiz, who wants to gatekeep all this shit from everybody. Let's get this settled today. Let's get everybody on the same page. And let's make it so everybody can do this themselves, alright? So the first thing that we need to talk about here is how is the color recognized on this map? Now, what they use is a standard RGB color wheel that goes from 0 to 255. So let's go ahead and open up the map config. We're going to go to our local disk where our Steam folder is. Go to Steam Apps, Common, Aceto Corsa, Content, Tracks. Go down to Shotoko Revival Project Beta and hit Extension and open up the ext underscore config. This is your lighting config. This is where we make everything happen. All right. So now that we're in here, one important thing is never change this. If you are experiencing vehicles that are flickering with light, or your vehicle is lit or not lit, or you've downloaded somebody's config and you're having this issue, it's because this needs to stay at 1.0. If you raise this or turn this down, you will have problems with how your light is on your map. Most of the configs I've downloaded from people, unfortunately, have all this stuff changed, and that's why the configs don't work properly. I'm done helping people with that. That's why we're making this video today. I don't want to have to sit here and spend hours of my life helping people because they thought they had a good idea of taking what I did and just changing it. It doesn't work that way. So, the next thing we need to know, guys, is these conditions here affect something in the game. For example, sun underscore smooth is a condition that the lights will turn on once the Sun Smooth script kicks in, and it usually happens at nighttime. This is set up for a specific time of day where Sun Smooth turns lights on. And you know that because if you scroll down, you can see Small Street Lights Emissive, the condition is Sun Smooth. If you want them always on, you can literally change the condition and go always underscore on. This will make it so the lights will always be on. Or you can go always off. They will always be off. But sun underscore smooth is lights will turn on after it becomes dark. Or whenever the person who made the map has it programmed in to be dark. That is when these lights will kick on. Alright. So again, if you want your lights always on, change sun smooth to always on. Alternatively, if you want your lights to do anything else, you can take a look at those conditions. For example, you have SRP Rainbow. SRP Rainbow follows this LUT script. SRP Rainbow is what you see when you see something changing colors over and over consistently from one color to the next. So, for example, if I want my Rainbow Bridge to be SRP Rainbow, I am going to scroll down into this light config somewhere where I find the bridge, and I am going to change the condition to SRP Rainbow, which is now going to give me the rainbow effect. So enough about how to change that stuff. Let's just talk about how these colors work and how we can actually identify objects in the game and change what we want to change. So the first thing you need to do, if you haven't done this already, is go and enable all of your apps and everything properly. And once you are in-game, you can open Object Inspector. When you have Object Inspector open, you are going to click on something here, Alt. So if we hold down Alt, and now we click on objects in the game, they are highlighted. This is important to know, okay? So when you highlight this light, for example, this is the big one here, you highlight this and you notice the material says 
Matt underscore lamp 101 underscore head. All you need to do is click that. It has now copied it. And we open up our light config for the map. We hit control F. We type in the same material. We scroll up to the top just to make sure we're not going to miss it. And we hit find next. Okay, take a look here. Now we have our light series one, and this is our street lights, and here is our material. So now I know if I change any of this stuff, those lights will change. Now this is the other thing we have to pay attention to. The light series is the light on the ground and the material adjustments for the emissive will be the light bulb. So let me show you an example. If I type in this lamp 101 head thing, if I hit find next, we will now see it under material adjustment as well. Every light should have a material to be adjusted. And if it doesn't, there is a way that you can make that happen in the game anyway. So now let's take a look here. I have the light up there. Everything's good. We got the config up. And now let's see what happens when we change this. 255 to 1. My bad. We'll change this from 255. Sorry, guys. To 1. We'll change this to 1. We'll change this to 200. And we'll put that last number back at 1.0. Now, watch what happens to my lights. Boom. They are now a really ugly blue color. And that is how you change the color of the emissive on the light is through the material adjustments. So let's go over this one more time real quick. You open Object Inspector, you hold down Alt, you click on the light, you highlight this and click left click to copy it, you go into your notepad, scroll to the top, you hit Control F and you type in that material. So now that I changed the light, what I'm also going to do is change the road light. Again, we are going to make it ugly but this is just to show you how easy it is to actually change this stuff and get along with making your own light configs. There we go. That easy. I now have blue street lights everywhere that are massively blue. But we're not done yet, okay? We need to go over a couple more things here. So, what we need to discuss is, for example, the range and the spot of these lights. The range is going to be the overall visual distance that you can see these lights go for. So if I double this and I hit save, the lights will now be spanning across a bigger area. It's hard to see because the spot is small, but you would have noticed a change there if you were paying attention. Again, we will double it just to reshow what that's going to do. And also our spot, which is huge, is going to be the area under the light. Like, for example, a spotlight. At nighttime, you see the street light. You see the light on the ground in a circle. So if I change the spot, now my lights are overwhelmingly huge. The spot is way too big. So the spot is the focused light underneath the light and how big that is, the bounced light on the ground. And the range is the span of that light. So, for example, now, if I take the range and put it really low, we're going to see that I cannot even see these lights really now at all because the range is too low to be recognized. So that is really important to know. If you don't mess around with the range and you don't mess around with the spot and you just go start changing colors, you're going to have a bad time. And that is what I have noticed, is a lot of people having a bad time prompting me to really get out there and make this video. My Discord has been swamped with people looking for light configs, how to make it, how to change it, how to edit it. So I'm doing this for you guys today, because honestly, there's a dark side of this community, and I'm done with the drama behind all this stuff, man. This is how you create your custom map can literally do this on any map with an ext config but we're still not done we still got to go over more stuff here 
So if you see the end, the decimal numbers here, right? These decimal numbers affect the actual strength of that color. So let's see what happens if I change this from 0 0.006 to a 0 0.1, which is significantly larger. Now my colors are very, very, very strong. Okay, you can see them right on the light post and everything. So we're not going to do that. So the difference between me and a lot of other people here is I have gone through every single one of these lights. I've gone through every single one of these materials. I have changed them. I have edited them. I have added to them. I've put in materials to be emissive that weren't even emissive before on this map. And that is why I get so upset over people taking this stuff and claiming it like they did it. You didn't do this for people. I did. Sonk did with me. We figured this out. And that is why configs are bad. That is why configs are ruined. And that is why people are downloading configs elsewhere. Coming to me with no idea what to do or how to fix it. And I just can't do it every day. It's just too much. So, I've provided you guys with enough information here start to make your own light configs and start to develop a skill to see what these things are going to do. And the last important thing to mention is the standard RGB color wheel is 0 to 255 red, green, blue. So if you start to mess with those colors and you do 100, 0, 100, you're going to have purple because you're going to have 100 red zero green and a hundred blue, which is going to generate purple. So I hope today this video has given you guys enough information to at least start. Start making your own light configs, start going into this file and start making your map how you want it to be. If anybody comes across any problems or needs any help with this stuff, comment it please. I am going to be responding more to the comments on this video and uploading my next content based off of the comments on this video, okay? So if you're coming through these configs and you're having problems and you need to figure stuff out, please post about it here so I can respond with my next video answering all of your guys' questions. I know everybody wants these light configs. I know they're a big deal for people. I want to show everybody how to do this. I want to show everybody how to do this properly so we can stop the gatekeeping of content from people and we can stop people trying to resell these settings and we can just stop people claiming work that isn't theirs. None of this work is even mine. Let's be honest. I didn't write the code for this. I don't know how these colors actually got put in here. All I know is that I had the time and want will to learn how to change the code that is already existing so again i would like to credit the original map creators of this map and all of the original people involved in this project and thank them for providing us as players of this game with enough resources to take their original content and turn it into whatever we want it to be Everybody should be very thankful that the owners of this have not encrypted any of this and they have allowed us to openly go into this file and change their original work. With that being said, if you're one of those people and you are out here trying to sell these light configs or gatekeep this stuff from people, you may want to think about who is the creator of this map, who wrote this code, and what your impact is on the world with this code. If all you do is come in here and change colors like me and add in materials that are already on the map that you just have to make emissive, I'm sorry, I'm not a god at this. Nobody is a god at this. The only people that really deserve the most recognition are the people that made the map because they are the people that have all of this stuff coordinating with each other so we can use it and we can change it. It is a miracle that all of this stuff even works as well as it does with all of our different systems. So again,
It's not about what you got, it's about how you set it up, and this is how you set up your lights. This is something that we need to get done together. This is something that you will benefit from, and I hope that you have a great time with all of this and that I've provided enough information. So again, if you don't have enough info here or you're having issues trying to figure stuff out, like the video, comment your problem. I will respond with a future video addressing everything that the comments have addressed. I wanna make this as easy as I can for everybody to get into and I don't want people left behind because they couldn't understand something. Talk about it, mention it in the comments, and let's build the ability to change these maps together as a community. I'm really excited to see what type of things people come up with. If you come up with some cool light configs, send them my way. I wouldn't mind trying out some stuff you guys have made. I wouldn't mind posting some more configs in the Discord. If you guys want to get together with me and start implementing things together for the community, such as more light configs and things like that that we can put in the Discord and share with each other instead of gatekeep it or charge people money for it, we can share it in the community and everybody that comes into the Discord asking for light configs and help can eventually have a nice selection of many different light configs out there. Also, if you do see anybody selling this content, please report it and get that done with correctly. Again, nobody is creating anything here. We are all editing and changing this. Anybody can do it. Do better, guys. Stop having drama over all of this stuff, man. Make a video about it and help some people out. Quit trying to sell light configs and quit trying to gatekeep it. It's annoying. It's not worth it. And now everybody knows how to do it. So there you go, guys. No more gatekeeping. Enjoy the light configs. And just to be clear, I never was gatekeeping this from the get-go. I just didn't want to explain all of this stuff to people because it's a very unique thing to take on. And many people will have their own unique problems with this. And if I took this on as a public thing that I showed everybody how to do and offered help on how to help all these people do this, this is something that I would spend so much time on, I would never get to play the game again. That's why I didn't want to show people because it's going to generate help desk problems for me because so many people want to do this stuff. So again, if there isn't enough information in this video for you, I am going to make a part two showing you how to switch things around how to add emissives to things that aren't already emissive, and we are going to go more in depth to the track and specular multipliers and what all of that stuff does. For today, get in there, start changing the colors, start changing the range, start changing the spot, start changing some conditions, and see what you can do. It's not about what you got, it's about how you set it up. Have a good day, everybody. Stay gaming.